Hello guys, welcome to my channel once again. Please, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my videos. Without much ado, let's get started. We go to great new, great new. Add an illustration, and we're going to select the thousand by thousand pixel. We have resolution three hundred and eight. So we're going to double click on this background and unlock it. With a new solid color fill adjustment. So we're going to have the hexa code I'm typing right here. So we click OK. We'll head over to file, place embedded. So we'll select this item. And we're going to right click and flip horizontal. So I'm going to resize this. We resize a bit bigger. Adjust it and resize again. And we'll click the check mark to confirm. Change the blend mode to multiply. Okay. So we are pressing B for the brush tool. And creating a new layer. Changing our foreground color. So I have the hexa code right here. Okay. Then we click once. Right bracket key to increase the brush. We click once. We are selecting this and changing it to screen. The blend mode, I mean. So we select our rectangle to and draw rectangle. Change the color to white. I already have my text in Notepad, so I just copy. We copy. Select my text tool and paste. So I'm changing. Click. I'm clicking to confirm and change the color to white. I have it right there. Click to confirm. Changing the font to Avalon. So we have Avalon. I'm selecting the text tool by pressing T and highlighting pentacles to cut. So I select my text tool and paste. And I'm going to adjust this right beneath the church of and scale it a bit. We click the check mark to confirm. So we we'll copy this. Go for our test tool and paste. So we are changing this to title case. Select our move to V. And we we'll put it right under it. So we we'll make it a bit small so that it's in line. Okay, so we're going to stretch this room, this rectangle, rectangle right here to make it longer. But click the check mark to confirm. So we are going to select all these layers, place embedded, bring in the logo, I mean, resize, make it small. Make it bigger a bit. Yeah, this is okay. We click the check mark to confirm. So we'll drop it a bit. That's okay. I'm going to select all these layers. And press Ctrl G to group. So I'm going to make this smaller. Click the check mark to confirm. Press Ctrl A and center it horizontally. Press Ctrl D to deselect. So grab our group and raise it up a bit. So I grab my rectangle and I'm drawing a rectangular shape right here. Head over to properties and change the full to white. No, I mean yellow. Change the full to yellow. 
sorry so we change the full to yellow and we're going to select this and reduce the corner radius and increase the corner radius make this smaller click the check on confirm so control a and we center horizontally control d to deselect so we drop it a bit we click and delete this we delete this so we head over to our notepad and copy the text we have here we paste we are changing the font so we change the color to the background color and we're changing the font to the Musio font by selecting the width 700 so we make it title case reduce it so we can keep it in the shape so then is okay we still have to reduce this a bit click to confirm click. so we make this italics we italize that select and center it horizontally control D to the select so we select this layer and the other one so we group control G so I'm grabbing my rectangular tool and dropping it and drawing a shape right here changing the color to white right. so select this hold alt and drag to duplicate hold alt and drag to duplicate we'll go for our ellipse and draw an ellipse So we draw an any shape right here undo you draw an any shape you hold the sheet key so you can scale proportionately so we change the color to white and have it in the middle so basically we will select all these layers and the ellipse so we can group it as a single group I'm going to reduce it a bit. We click the check mark to confirm. We press Ctrl A and center horizontally. Ctrl D with select. So I'm going to copy my text right here. Copy. And grab the text tool and paste. Click the check mark to confirm. So the colorful we are changing it to white. And we don't need this italic. So we change it, change the size to 16. So we select in our text tool and highlight the creator and make it all uppercase. So we're changing the size to 16. Okay. So we press Ctrl, we we'll have it in the middle. So we'll go for our next test. We copy. So I select my test tool. No, I grab my ruler sign. And we're going to put it side by side so we could keep all the rest of the text. I just get behind the second one. So we confirm. Go we'll off this. And we're going to select and keep it in line with the first test. So we reduce it. This is okay. We click the check mark to confirm. So we we'll go for our next test. We copy. And we select the test tool and paste. So we click to confirm. V for our move tool. And we're going to put it right there. We click to confirm. So 
I'm selecting this group, holding alt and drag to have a duplicate added down. Just beneath this test. Okay. So I can get rid of my relax. So I select this group. I select this group. Yeah. And all the text I have inside. And group this. Control G. So we have this as one group. So we select our test tool and co we copy. Select our test tool. T for our test tool and we paste. So we click to confirm. Changing the color to this yellow. Okay. We are changing the font to Avalon. So we select Avalon. We're changing the size to 10. We italize it. And changing the eye to capture eye. So we select and click to confirm. Press Ctrl A and center right in the middle horizontal. So we select our test and draw a dot, a dotted line. So we click to confirm and change the color to white. Press Ctrl A, so we have it in the middle. So increasing the size to 12. We increase again. This is now. We increase. Okay. So we're holding. Alt and drag. So we're duplicating this. Get our rectangular to land a rectangle right here. In the colorful to white, so we center it right. We select this layer, Ctrl A, and we center it right in the middle. Ctrl D with it, select, we go and copy our date October. We copy, select our test tool, and paste. We are changing this font to the moon seal. To the moon seal font. We're clicking and we're making all upper case. So we are changing the size to 9. This is okay. We change it to 9. So we have it here. We go for our next test. We copy the venue, which is the location. So we paste. Control V, we paste. And we are bringing it down. In line with this one. So we copy. We copy. We are selecting our test to be paste. Click the check mark to confirm. Changing our color to this yellow. Okay. So we're going to put it right here. And have it in the middle. Control D with it select. This is okay. So I'm grabbing my rectangular tool and draw a rectangle on top of this. The date. Change the color flow to yellow. So I go and I select my yellow. And I go to the properties and increase the corner radius. So I, I, I check this too. I unlink that and increase the corner radius to 15. 
hold alt and drag to duplicate I select and flip horizontally I click to confirm so I go for my next step which is edit I copy so paste so I'm changing the color from you have to move this layer to the top so it hangs in the rectangle changing the color from so we have the size 8 and change the color from to this background Then you will copy. I'm going to paste. So we click the check mark to confirm. We have it here. So get rid of this ruler. I'm going to select this and reduce the opacity down. Yeah, 54 is okay. This is okay. So we'll go and copy. We'll go too far. We head over too far. First, we just, we're going to select all these layer. Group it. So we have it as one group. We'll go to head over to file, place embedded, and we'll bring this icon. We have it here, we'll click to confirm. We'll reduce it a bit, we'll click to confirm, and we'll reduce it. we we'll bring it, we we'll drop it down a bit, copy our text. So we grab our test tool and paste. Click to confirm. We change the size. So we're changing the size. To it. Okay. So we have it here. So we're going to hold this and this and we group to have another group. Control A and we center it in the middle. We're going to select group 4 and, set and raise it up a bit. Select the test and desire, raise it up. Select group 5, so we raise it up a bit. And that is it guys thanks for watching once again